Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy 2020, guys. I miss you so much, but thank you for being patient with me while I took a little break and celebrated the holidays and just took a little bit of time off. But now we're back, we're in action. I have tons of great recipes coming up for you guys for this month. Really easy recipes and things to kind of just help get you guys back on track with eating healthier, help myself get them back with eating healthier. And then um, stuff to help you guys for Veganuary, people who are just starting out veganism and just looking for all around easier recipes. So today we're going to be doing two slow cooker recipes I have a lentil bolognese and a cheesy broccoli casserole for you guys. You're gonna get four servings from each of them. They're great for meal prep, they're great for families. They're also all soy, nut, gluten, and oil-free, aside from a little bit of vegan cheese I use, which is totally optional. So they're really healthy, they're really delicious, they're great for anybody, and I think you guys are really going to enjoy them. I've been eating them all week long, and they're so, so good, and I just love putting everything in the crock pot, like leaving it, and then like dinner's done, and it's so easy. I also wanted to say thank you guys for 20K. We hit that back in December, but I hadn't made any videos since, so thank you guys so much for all your support and love really means a lot so with all my talking let's get into the recipe and as always full ingredients are down below and there are blog posts down below for each recipe as well all right let's get into it all right we're going to start off by making our lentil bolognese first it's going to be a really hearty comforting dish so good so first we have to add in our lentils to our slow cooker or crock pot whatever you're using then i sauteed some carrots onion and garlic in a little bit of water just to make them soft i like doing this ahead of time i feel like it brings the flavors out more but you can put them in raw into the slow cooker whatever you have time to do then we're going to add two cans of tomato sauce this is my room cheddar joe's i like this one if you can't find it you can use another or you can also just blend up your own tomatoes whatever you like to do and then we're going to add in two cups of water the lentils are going to soak Soak up all this water while it cooks, so it's important that they're in there. Lentils love to soak things up. And then we're going to add in some seasonings, black pepper, red chili flakes. I like my food a little spicy, so I like to add that in there. We're going to add in some salt and some sugar, and the sugar is going to combat the acidity of the tomatoes, so I highly recommend you add it in there. Then we are just going to give this a nice little mix just to make sure that everything is kind of, you know, coated, working with each other, you know, got to mix it up. And then we are just going to place our lid on and cook it on high for about four hours and 30 minutes. I did check on this because I was home, so I kind of gave it a stir every once in a while. If you need directions for how to cook it on low, you can find that on the blog. And then this is what it should look like when it's all done. You can see those lentils are beautiful. They absorbed all that delicious sauce and they just look so good. So I cooked up my pasta on the stove. You can add it to the slow cooker if you want, but I like to cook gluten-free pasta on the stove. I feel like it can be a little finicky. So this is the Bonza chicken pasta and I'm just going to mix this all together and doesn't that just look so good and so hearty and comforting and I love it with the lentils and I just it's such a good meal the lentils are great they're such a powerhouse for nutrition and they're full of iron and fiber and so many good things so I added a little bit more red pepper flakes because like I said I like it spicy and just a little bit of the follow your heart vegan parmesan again this is completely optional you do not have to do this especially if you want it to be oil free but I happen to like it and this is our beautiful lentil bolognese when it is all done you're gonna get four amazing servings from this or if you want to divide it up into more whatever you want and it's really healthy really delicious you can substitute the gluten-free pasta for regular pasta for zoodles for brown rice pasta for you know whatever you like so totally up to you our second dish is going to be this cheesy broccoli and brown rice casserole and i know it looks like mush but it is so good so we have to first start by actually making kind of a cheesy sauce so i'm going to use non-dairy milk here I'm using almond milk, but you can use whatever you need to fit your allergy needs, or you could use veggie broth. We're gonna add in some nutritional yeast and salt. And then this is just cooked potato, carrot, and cannellini beans. Just let that boil for a few minutes on the stove until it's fork tender, about 15 to 20 minutes. Pop the lid on your blender and just blend it up until it's smooth. So this kind of replaces like a cream of mushroom or a cream of chicken that you would kind of find in a normal casserole, like a broccoli cheese casserole. So I blended it up and then I could just see it needed a touch more almond milk. And so I add that in and I give it a little taste too because I want to make sure it has good flavor. So just, you know, adjust according to your taste. If you want to add other things in like garlic powder or onion powder or whatever, be my guess, but I was just trying to keep this simple. So I just added in that little bit extra non-dairy milk and a little bit more nutritional yeast and salt. Again, this is just to my preferences. Do whatever you like. Place that lid back on and blend it up until it is smooth, smooth, smooth. So that's what it's going to look like. Into the crock pot, we're going to add in one bag of frozen broccoli 
and then we're gonna add in that delicious cheesy creamy sauce I don't know what to call it and then we're gonna add in our brown rice this is short grain brown rice some low sodium vegetable broth and we're gonna add in a little bit of seasoning so just some black pepper again red chili flakes I like it don't add it if you don't like it a little bit of salt especially because we did use low sodium vegetable broth so we want to make sure this is you know has some flavor and again we're just going to mix this up get it all integrated and then you're just going to pop that lid on and you're going to cook it on high for four hours in the last half hour of cooking if you want you don't have to do this you can remove the lid give it kind of a mix around mine was getting a little bit stuck to the sides this was my mom's crock pot and i didn't really ever work with it so i was used to mine but no big deal so i just kind of mixed it all around you could see though that rice is getting nice and cooked and then in the last 30 minutes if you want you can add some vegan cheddar cheese on top i use one from violife and you're just going to pop that lid back on and it's going to melt the cheese beautifully but again you don't have to do that totally optional and this is it when it's all done you can see that cheese is melted it's kind of formed like a little layer and i'm just going to take a nice scoop out and this is so good i'm telling you guys it's like really really good i love how the broccoli gets broken down in there and it's delicious and i know it looks like mush but just trust me it'll also thicken up a bit as it cools it looks a little bit almost soupy and stew like right now but it'll thicken up so don't worry and it's so easy to make so i just plated it up and you can eat this with like a side salad i have actually been having it on the side with tofu but you know, do whatever you need to for allergy purposes. And it's just really delicious and it's comforting and you're getting in so many vegetables and you don't even realize it and it's really good. All right guys, and those were our recipes. I really, really hope you enjoyed them. Like I said in the beginning, ingredients are listed out down below and there are blog posts linked in the description box as well, which have the full recipe written out as well as PDF printable versions. If you guys like this, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff helps the channel out, helps us to grow and spread more vegan recipes. I am working really hard on YouTube in 2020. That was sort of like my goal is to really grow and develop this channel more. So I appreciate any and all support. It really means a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you try these recipes, be sure to tag me on Instagram or use hashtag PlantfullyBase so I can see your beautiful recreations. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so happy to be back. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am so happy to be back and I will see you on Sunday with another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.